Hello, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Sensation Nail Gel Home Manicure Kit which looks like this and it's a really compact kit, it's really small, comes with everything you need to achieve the perfect gel manicure at home. I've used this kit about three times now and I think it's absolutely amazing and the results for the French manicure just look fantastic so I'm going to show you how I do it. So this kit comes with the Sensation Nail Pro 360 LED lamp which looks like this. It comes with lint free wipes, gel cleanser, a gel primer, two gel French manicure colours, a pink and a white, and the gel base and top coat. It also comes with a nail file and buffer and a manicure stick. The kit also comes with these white French manicure tips, which are, um, they're not stickers, they're a thin layer of um, polish which you apply to the nail once you want to, when you want to achieve the perfect French manicure, but I'm not going to be using these today as I find that these have chipped faster than the gel polish itself, so I'm going to be using the white French manicure gel polish. If you'd like to see how to get completely dry, chip free, smudge free, perfect French manicure, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start off with the grey side of the nail file, as you can see I've used this, and I'm going to shape my nails into a square shape, which is what shape I prefer my nails to be. So I'm going to start by shaping those. Just lightly file the nails uh, along the edge in a straight line to achieve the perfect square shape at the top. I also file the sides just a tiny bit just to make sure they are really square. Then once I'm happy with the shape I just lightly go over the corners to make sure they're not harsh or sharp. But still keeping the shape. My nails are slightly blue toned as the last polish I had on them was blue and it stained my nails a little bit, so you have to ignore that. So once I've filed them with the grey side of the file, you then take the pink side and lightly buff every single nail to take the natural shine off the nail and to prepare them for the jam manicure. Really lightly buff them. I've already buffed them a little bit as I buffed my uh, old manicure off as well, um, so I don't really need to do some, too much buffing. But be really careful not to over buff your nails. Next, take in a lint free wipe and the gel cleanser. Um, you want to rub over all your nails and let them air dry. Gently wipe that over every nail to remove the dust from buffing and filing. So next, using the Sensation Nail Gel Primer, I'm just going to apply a thin layer of that to every nail. So I'm going to let that air dry. Next I'm going to take my Sensation Nail Base Coat, which is the clear transparent base and top coat. I'm going to apply that a thin layer of that to every nail. I'm going to cap the free edge of the nail also. That'll help my manicure last longer.
I'm then going to cure my base coat in the Sensational LED lamp for 30 seconds, starting with my fingers and then moving on to my thumb separately. The lamp will beep after 30 seconds, letting you know when to switch hands. The lamp also switches itself off after 60 seconds. So once that's cured, I'm then going to take my Baby Doll Pink Sensational Gel Polish. I'm going to apply this to every single nail to achieve the nice French pink manicure. Once I've done that, I'm then going to cure the pink in the lamp for 60 seconds, starting with my fingers again and thumb separately. So once you've done that, you could leave your nails there for a natural French gel manicure, but I'm going to go and apply the white gel sensational gel polish to the tips of my nails to achieve the perfect French manicure. You can use the tips that come with the kit, but I found that they did chip off after about six days, so they didn't last the full two weeks as the Sensational Kit states it should. So once you're happy with your French white tips, you need to cure that for another 60 seconds. So to finish off my gel manicure, all I'm going to do now is apply the gel base and top coat to all of my nails and then cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. So the last thing I'm going to do now is cleanse my nails with the gel cleanser again and a lint-free wipe all over my nails to remove the sticky layer that's left behind when you cure your nails under the lamp. I'm just going to gently wipe that over every nail to remove the sticky layer and reveal the shiny gel manicure which is completely dry. Completely dry to touch as well. You could bash them, you could put your hands in your bags, get your keys, anything. They're completely dry and they won't smudge or chip. And that's it, the finished home gel French manicure by Sensational. I absolutely love this Sensational kit, it's just amazing. They just, they just feel amazing, they feel like I've had them done in the salon and I've done them myself in less than like 20-30 minutes, so I really love using this kit. Obviously the French tips were hand painted on so they won't be completely perfect like the tips would be, but I think these, gonna, these will last longer than the tips will last, they only lasted me about 6 days before, but the actual gel polish I think will last longer. So. To see, if you want to find out how long the gel polish lasted, then check out my blog, as that I'll have updated pictures and I've got a full review on there as well of the Sensational Kit. So that's it, the finished French manicure. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, bye! I'm going to start at the outer corner and up to my crease. 
I'm going to take it a bit higher than my crease because I've got um, hooded eyes a tiny bit so I'm going to just take it a bit higher than my crease so that it doesn't get lost when I um, relax my eye. 